Hi there, in this video, I'll be showing you a really quick sound design workflow that you can use inside of Reaper to quickly generate sound effects with lots of variations for them. All right, before we get into it, if you're new here though and you're a sound designer, I have a gift for you. It's my sound designer starter pack. It's a sound pack that you can use royalty free for your personal or even commercial project. It has over 900 sound effects, everything ranging from UI sounds, monster sounds, spell sounds. There's a whole bunch of stuff in there, so make sure to check it out. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description below. All right, let's get right into our project. All right, here we are inside of Reaper, and for our sound design and workflow, there's gonna be two parts to it. The first is gonna be generating our sound effects, and then the second is gonna be actually creating the variations for them. So if you wanna skip ahead to that, make sure to check the chapters below, I'll put it in there. But with that said, let's just get right into it. So what I'm gonna use here is NBK Create, and this is a paid plugin, so you don't have to use this, but it's gonna be really great for just punching out a whole bunch of different sound effects. So on here, I'm gonna say I want a gunshot. So maybe I'm just gonna type in like gunshot, explosion, or kick. All right, with that said, I'm gonna bring my items down to three. That's just for three layers. Offset is at 0.2, and I'm gonna make sure I wanna hit trim so that they all line up perfectly. And I'm just gonna generate this. All right, so it's done. So I've generated 50 of these sound effects, as you can see here, and they're all ready to go. So now what I have to do, so let's say I was on a quick deadline or something. What I could do now is, now that these are generated, I could just have a listen and then find something I like. So let's say I like this one, okay? I'm, I've already like heard that one. I'm just gonna grab this first one here. What I like to do is I like to bring it out over at the end here and start from here. So now what I'm gonna do is, let's say this is my gonna be my first variation. So now I'm just gonna copy and paste this four times. All right, so now I have four different variations of it. And what I'm gonna do now inside of Reaper is load up LKC Variator. And on here, I have different presets that I like to use. All right, so for my, my first preset that I like to use here is I'm gonna be randomizing the pan pitch, tape stretch, rate, and position. Now you can use whatever you want depending on what you're creating here, but this is what I'm gonna do here. So here, I just wanna make sure I have my locators around my sounds. And now I can just click mutate and I should have a different variation. So here's our first one. And here's our second right? They're very similar. And that is the whole point of this first preset here is that um, you're not going to be ch changing it a lot. It's just going to be very, very minute changes, which is what I want to start. Great. So now they're all pretty similar. I like that. Now what I like to do after that is try to make some, some changes, but have them be a little bit more extreme, right? So I have another preset I like for that. And for this one, I'm using the file here. So what it's going to do is it might switch out the file here. What it's going to do is for there's, I think it's like 30% chance that it might switch out the file with another file within the folder that this file was taken from. So I'm just going to do the same thing here. I'm going to mutate each of these and now just have a listen. All right, so this one is quite a bit different. I like that, so I'm gonna keep it there. These two still sound a little bit the same, so I'm gonna redo these. Let's make, maybe mutate it again. Same thing with this one. Great, and now with that, I've just created a, one sound effect with a whole bunch of variations that I can now export either individually as individual layers or just as, as, a, whole, uh, as, as a whole sound effect and, and just export that and then put that in, into my project if I wanted to. All right, so I hope you found that workflow useful and valuable, especially if you're on a time crunch and you just need to be able to generate tons of sound effects with variations really quickly. So I hope that helps you out. If you want to see another video that I made about like sound design workflow for inside of Reaper, I made a video uh, about five different features that I really like about Reaper with uh, that really help improve my sound design workflow. So if you want to check that out, I'll make sure to put it in the cards above and in the description below. I think that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. As usual, leave the comments if you have any down below. I do my best to answer them and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.